In Act 1 of Baldur's Gate 3, the druid healer Nettie will poison you if you lie about your tadpole. But what happens if you pickpocket the antidote from Nettie after being poisoned? Let's find out the answer to that, along with a few other Nettie experiments. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Nothing? You sure? All right. I suppose that makes things easier. Give me your arm, please. Careful. Your legs will probably give out first. I'm sorry. Maybe Master Halson could have plucked it from your head, but I can't. Without him here, the only treatment for an illicit tadpole is death. You're a risk to the people around you. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. You can't have it. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. I won't. I can't. The door's locked. Neither of us are leaving until this is done. Well, hello. I'll see if there's anything in Master Halson's notes. He didn't oh, find a cure, but maybe we can make it comfortable. What to do? Fine. If you won't stop trying to help her, I'll have to stop you both. Still breathing, despite everything. All right, that went unfortunately. But what happens if we pickpocket the antidote before Nettie poisons us? I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. A thief's been picking pockets near here. This would be a good moment to explain yourself. You'll walk free for now, but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. 
It'll be like going to sleep. The door's locked. Neither of us are leaving until this is done. There's no stopping you, is there? All right. Master Halson thought the tadpole was dormant, so you have some time. Perhaps it's only fair I let you use it. But first, this is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I don't want to hurt you, but I can't let you live. You're too dangerous. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So what we learned here was that both situations can lead to death, but if you steal the antidote beforehand, you'll at least have the chance to live as long as you play your cards right. However, this experiment led me to a third research question. You can't have it. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. The door's locked. Neither of us are leaving until this is done. I was planning on letting the poison kill me, but it requires long resting in order to hurt you, and because we cannot fast travel from this area, we'll have to go the old fashioned route. Maybe we can make you comfortable. If it helps, she won't feel any pain. It's the best death I can give her. So this was interesting because Nettie does open the door, but she doesn't seem to acknowledge that Tav is already dead. Still, if you're trapped with Nettie and refuse to play nice, this is a fine way to leave her secret chamber without having to fight her. But of course, it led me to another question, which is... Thank you. You're alive. There's no way I'm stopping you, is there? All right. Master Halson thought the tadpole was dormant, so you have some time. Perhaps it's only fair I let you use it. But first, this is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I don't want to hurt you. But I can't let you live. You're too dangerous. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right, so Nettie didn't seem to like that, but what happens if we murder Tav in front of Nettie and then leave Tav's body in the grove and revivify her off screen via the help of Withers? The door's locked. Neither of us are leaving until this is done. I realized that at this point in the game, I didn't actually have Withers in my camp, so I went to go get him. And due to my low level and lack of a party lead, I thought I had an annoying fight up ahead. But apparently during this playthrough, I, just, I killed all the people in this area, including the skeletons, and actually already found Withers tomb like the button, I didn't have to pass the perception check, everything was cleared, I just never opened his tomb. I'm both grateful and ashamed of myself, but we have Withers secured, so let's go back to camp and finish the job. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. 
A matter of coin. Very well. Speak their name, and it shall be done. This is the price of balance. Well counted. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. All right, Tav is alive, but I'm realizing that this is the first time I have her back in camp after being poisoned by Nettie, and I'm curious about how the poison works. So let's detour slightly to answer another question. I don't feel too good. What did that druid scratch me with? You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Okay, we've only long rested 1.5 nights, and we are getting progressively sicker, but on this night, Astarian's vampire cutscene triggers, which leads me to a detour from the detour, while I ask. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could... Trust me, just a little further. I only need a taste, I swear. Really? I, of course, not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Mm. Hmm? Oh, of course. That... That was... amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. <sighs> Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks off. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. The droid's poison is spreading. I need a cure, fast. All right, so the answer to that one is nothing happens. So sad, but back to the previous scenario. Poison. 
It's too much. It's too late. <gasps> For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. You know, it's kind of cool, actually. I was expecting death, but I didn't expect death via disintegration, so that's something. I'll take it. Anyways, we have our girl back, so let's return to Nettie in the Grove. You're alive. There's no way I'm stopping you, is there? All right. Master Halson thought the tadpole was dormant, so you have some time. Perhaps it's only fair I let you use it. But first, this is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Right, there was a lot of bloodshed tonight, but after sparking so many fights with Nettie over being poisoned, I have one last question for this video that's kind of related, but not really, and that's what happens if we kill the bird Nettie is healing before we ask her for help? kill him I, I missed on purpose well I can respect that more than you being a crappy shot Alright, there you have it. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy this picture of a random dog I found online.